Hello, welcome to Horror and Monster Collectibles, where today we're going to be taking a look at this custom silicone body parts lamp that I had custom made for me by Spellbound Effects. Now I got this for the Slaughtered Lamb collection room of mine, and he went ahead and put the Slaughtered Lamb on the forearm. And I'm super stoked about this piece, and I needed a cool lamp for the collection room, and this fits the bill. So let's go ahead and spin it around and take a closer look. And also, real quick, I wanted to show you what he includes with it, uh, which is, first up, his card. So if you want to get a hold of him, this is how to do it. And he offers a whole bunch of cool stuff on there. And then also, he threw in this cool inclusion of a little silicone finger for keychain. Starting at the lampshade, we'll go ahead and kind of get you a good detailed view of the faces. And I'm not sure whose face that is, but somebody's, probably somebody he knows. But I love the way the skin is cut up and stitched together. The only thing that would have brought this to another level is to have lashes and some facial hair on there, which I may end up adding. <clears throat> this might be a good project to learn how to punch hair, which I've kind of always wanted to try out. But the blood work and the paint app is very, very well done. Uh, this is his, his bread and butter. This is what he loves to do, and uh, he excels at it. Take a look inside the lampshade, and basically that's just painted red. <clears throat> and I think uh, <clears throat> when these things lit, uh, the light shines through pretty hard on the holes in the shade. So what I may do is cover that up with some material just to dull the light. I could catch it in the right right angle, it kind of shines in your face pretty hard. It also depends on what kind of bulb you have. Here is a detailed look of the slaughtered lamb that's carved into the flesh. And again, he does a really good job with this where it's it does look like it's cut into the skin. Hopefully that's shining through on camera. It's also got some nice vein work through here. And again, this is uh, silicone, uh, same with the lampshade. Uh, it, I think it's foam filled, uh, but it's pretty freaking rad. And I will light this thing up for you in a second. I wanted something gnarly for the room, and I think that this definitely fits the bill. Again, the only thing that would have brought this up to another level is to have some punched hair on the arm and some lashes on the faces. This is the base. It's got some cool teeth work down here. Although I'm not a fan of that color so much, I may end up repainting that. So let's go ahead and light it up. Here it is. It all lit up. And I think it's like a, maybe a 60 watt bulb in here. But 
this thing looks super freaking rad when it's all lit and it's definitely an attention getter all right guys that's about all there is to go over on this piece uh, I will leave you with some studio shots of it lit up uh, spellbound effects I definitely recommend them um, Tony was super easy to work with and uh, very professional and kept me updated on the progress of the project and uh, I really really appreciate uh, his communication um, and his professionalism again he does a bunch of weird twisted things like this so if you're looking for any body parts or anything like that even if you have like a haunted house that you're wanting body parts for or whatever I definitely recommend him. Uh, there's other companies out there. Uh, he seems pretty reasonably priced. Um, there's a lot of value for what you get. And again, he's just an all around great guy to work with. So as usual, feel free to leave any questions or comments that you might have. Um, I know this is typically different than what most of you guys collect. So it's probably out of your wheelhouse, but I know that there are some of you that will have an appreciation for how macabre and gross and freaking rad this thing is so leave any questions comments and i'll be happy to answer them and feel free to like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications for new videos and until next time i'll see you guys later